Today's White House is filled with members of the hard left. I was talking to the former head of Health and Human Services recently, and he told me that in all his many years of working on Capitol Hill, he has never seen people more ideologically driven than this administration. He's never seen it. So the march on the English department and the law department and the political science department has ended up in the White House. And what this tells us is that today, the university has become the primary shaper of culture. And not only here, but all around the globe. that depicts a false picture of reality still be true in the sense that it accurately portrays the worldview of its creator. Keep in mind that worldview does not exhaust what the arts are about. Uh, not all art with wrong worldviews is bad art. And I hope you understand that. Christianity is not just one worldview among others. It's, those are, are, are fragments. Christianity has a wholeness which enables us to look at other art and even work from other worldviews and to appreciate it in terms of how it fits into the, the larger picture of our, of our Christian faith. On a, on a pragmatic level, for someone like me who's a journalism student or a, an SI student or someone going into business, what is the best way to quote unquote, march on the English department or on the academic world in general. And so the, the marching on the English department, the intent of that is to say there are many ways to have a redemptive impact on culture, not just politics. <laughs> 